and just take it a little bit, um, good little the crop. There's one thing to see Hashem's presence in the world, and this is a Givaldica thing, and hopefully you can live with this always. And then there's a Mashiach to look. There's an oil that came down to this world, Torah Sabal and the oil was Nimshach and was drawn and was revealed further and further. He told the Rebbe, and the Rebbe was the seventh Rebbe, seventh Lubavitcher Rebbe. I just want to use a few Oiseus and then to understand what this is, let's use a few language, that seven is Malchus. And Malchus is the container that receives from everything that's before it. And it also becomes the Kesser, becomes the crown for everything below it. And just like in the process of the spheres, the way things develop, it first comes to Chachma, then to Bina, then to Das, it's actually the, the Koyach Ruchni, the spiritual quality, moves from one level until it receives the Malchus. V'yesh Loimer, L'fiani is Daiti, that there's also a progression in the way the Rebbe revealed Torah throughout the 40 years that he taught. With the, the, the origin goes back already in Yud Aleph Shvat, Tosh Yud Aleph. But its finality was finally revealed in the Kesser of the Malchus, which is the would call in the last few years that the Rebbe taught, revealed, and this was very much what the Rebbe spoke about in those years, was about Mashiach. And this is the Oyer Kasser. And what this means is, First, let me say what, it, what the idea is, and try to unpack it a little bit. That the idea of the Oyer Kasser, the light of Kasser, is it's going back to the Torah of Hashem to reveal a new light. So the new light, just like when you wear a crown on your head, the crown contains all the opposite parts of the body. So it has the right hand, the left hand, and it has the different structures and positions of the body. But the, the Kasser, the crown on the head, is the container, is the context, is what holds the entire structure of the body. So that means, in avoid the, the, the idea of the Kesser is Mashiach, and in our personal life, in the Olam prati, in our own individual life, that the Nachal of Ruach Hashem, Ruach Achmamin, and Ruach Eitzel Gevura, that the, the Morinayim says that it's talking about the Mashiach, Shebekir Boy, the element of Mashiach that exists within every Yid, that is the element of the Kesser that's revealed. And the Kesser is revealed in all the issues that your person has. And what is the Kesser? The Kesser is the oil of Kesser, is the, in the, which is the oil of Yechida, the oil of Yechida Shemadefesh, the light of Yechida Shemadefesh, is that the Rebbe wanted to reveal that processes, you can, go, you can get to things through processes, and then you can get to something instantaneously. There's two types of avoida. There's the avoida that happened up until this present moment, up until this modern era, where things evolved in processes, just like the world evolved in processes. But when it came to this modern era, what's the chiddush of the modern era? Instantaneously. Things happen instantaneously. This is the one, the great revelation that the, that the Zohar predicted that in 1740, 1840, there'd be a revealing of the Chachma, Tachtoina of the lower waters, which will be unified with the higher waters, the lower waters showed that everything can happen in one moment. You don't have to wait for processes. You can get everything as instant. Because there was a revelation of the oil and the chitzonius and the, and the external part of the world of instant gratification or instant instantaneous communication, this shows that there is an oil ruchni that came down to this world. That the world re is revealing now a new type of avoida. Normally a person needs to work through his middas, he has to work through his nehi, and he has to work through his netzach, and his hoid, and his soid, and then work through his chesed, and his gvur, and tefers. And finally, at the end of the day, finally get ulai hai ulai, like the Alter writes in Tanya, that maybe, maybe you're finally going to reach some level of yechidah, level of tzaddik. 
And it's a process, and it's a long avoida. This is the avoida of the Baini, the struggler. At his Ada, it was Moshe, a very famous chos of the tzaddik. Someone asked him, it was Moshe, did the Greichman, how do you reach a spiritual plateau? He was a very sharp he it was a shtikul kotzke style. And he said, Tzvan Sikyor is kafya, Tzvan Sikyor is hapcha, Tzvan Sikyor samarvo, Tzvan Sikyor davenam, und noch dem gornisht. He says, 20 years you work on breaking yourself, 20, 20 years on transforming yourself, 20 years you learn these deep maimorim, 20 years you daven, and this is a person that davened every day six hours, and he says at the end of the day you have nothing. Because when you're working through processes, the definition is that midegrech, you reach it, but it's, it's temporary. Ulay hai ulay, maybe yala ruach memorim, and you're going to have a bechidus ibur, you're going to get impregnated from a of tzaddik. The Rebbe, in the beginning of writing the Seas, already hinted to this, that there's a new oil coming out of this world. In 1950, it wasn't so revealed, but in 1990, it was. And it's parallel that the oil that came down to this world is that the Rebbe used oisius that are, the Rebbe even on, said, on, said it on his own, he said these are frightening words. And he says, see, human decide, there came already, it comes a time already that every person has to call himself a Rebbe. What does this mean? I don't know what exactly it means, but this is what I think it means. Is that we, just like instantaneously we can get everything in this world, physically we can get all information, the same thing Ruchnius. Ruchnius, we just have to open our eyes. We have to change our mindset from thinking that we're a struggler and we have struggles and we overcome to thinking that we are actually in our essence of who we are, we're actually tzaddikim. Who are you? It's not that the nefesh ashen is Yisrael that really I identify myself with nefesh abamis. Lakai, neshama, shenasat the bee. Who's the bee? Who's the I? The I is the ego. Shenasama, shenasat the bee, the one that he gave me, is my neshama. You have to start identifying yourself that, no, I am a nefesh alikis. I'm a chelek alikami malmamash. That's mitziusi. That's who I am. So who am I? I live with dveikus. I live with wonder. I live with, with, with openness. I live with love. I live with, with, with caring for another person. I live with edelkeit. I live with hecherkeit. This is what the, the, the gal, there's the gal of Golis, and there's a gal of gula. The gal of Golis is revealing that I'm stuck and I'm trying to get somewhere. The Gal of Geula, which is the Aleph, is Lashon Pela, like the Maral writes. The Aleph is to live with the Pela, the wonder, the magic, the psh, look at this world. When you wake up in the morning, do you say, I am going to have a hard day? Or you say, Moi Dani Lefonecha. There was once a child that asked Rebbe Sukhana, the Rebbe's mother, he, she brought, uh, he brought a little, uh, the groceries her house and he asked the Rebbe's mother please please tell me what is the Rebbe's favorite passage in davening in prayer what's the favorite thing what's the favorite what's his favorite passage she said I don't know I'll ask him so no don't ask me something I want to ask him. I also want to know I want to know for myself and she came back and she told him that the Rebbe's favorite passage in davening was Moidani Lefanachal this way, it's interesting that Kuntas Torah's Chassidus was based on this passage. What is Moedan Lefanecha? You wake up in the morning, and the first thing you say is, Ani Lefanecha. Thank you, Hashem, I'm in your presence. And not, I have a mortgage to pay, I'm having problems with Chinuch, I don't have Shalom bias. That's the Keser that has all the struggles. The Keser contains all those things. So you're not saying that I'm oblivious to these problems. But when a person opens up their eyes and has instant tzitkus, not in a state, not that you become a tzaddik 24 hours a day, maybe not. And maybe you're going to fall, and maybe because of that, like Alter Rebbe writes in Perikov Zayin, you're going to have depression. 
because because lo makim mekoyma, because you don't understand that you're not yet a tzaddik. We're not talking about a madrega. We're not talking about a state. We're talking about a stage. A oifin. The 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 the, the way I relate to this world is in a way that my eyes are wide open. And what does it mean that an attitude, a consciousness? When a person lives with a consciousness that I know, it's clear, I know what I have to do in this world. I know what my purpose in this world is. I'm dovuk to the Eibishter. I feel Hashem's presence. Then when they deal with the details of their life, which are the struggles, the Geula Pratis, the personal redemption, does not affect the outside external reality yet. But it changes your attitude towards that reality. Everything. Everything in life is about an attitude. You can be in prison and be free, and you can be free and be in prison. It depends on your mindset. If you look at your life and you say, my connection to the Ebershta is permanent. I'm living with godless amoichen, with expansive mind, with moichen the godless. I'm living with dveikos. I'm living with sitkos. This is who I am. I'm an erlecha person. I'm a dohoivina person. I live a higher life. And then when you catch yourself falling, Say, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not befitting for a person that could open their eyes. And to live like a tzaddik, how can I be screaming at my child? How can I be upset that something didn't go my way? How can I have anger? So instead of thinking yourself that you are, you are part of the problem, and you're trying to work yourself out of the problem, recognize that you're higher than the problem. That's Gula. Gula is to open our minds and our mindset and our eyes to see that everything that we need is right present in front of us. I, it's not in actuality, but that doesn't matter because that's the narrative of life. That's the story you're telling yourself. Start telling yourself a different story. This is the Gilu of Torah Sabal Shemtiv to the Dora Shvi. This is the, the revealing of the Torah of Hashem that went through so many generations of iskafia and ishabcha and work and hard avoida, and the Rebbe revealed in the last few years of the Nuns that everything can happen instantaneously. We just have to switch the mindset from thinking ourselves as Golisidin to thinking ourselves as Gulian. And we open our eyes, we start seeing Gula in our own lives and in the lives of all of our friends. Chaim Lachada.